Hello everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel and if this is your first time, hi, I am Natalie and I hope that you'll subscribe and stay a while. I'm back home! Okay, so full transparency, um, this video that I'm posting, I don't know if this is gonna go up next on my channel or if there will be one more um, previous to this, but this may very well be the second in a row of a second Nordstrom Trunk Club unboxing. But I wasn't even going to film it, and then I'm like, Natalie, like, why not? I enjoy the service. Y'all like watching the video. The videos do well. Um, I'm gonna open the box and try on things anyway, so why not film it? Even if it's, you know, two of these in a row, I figured why not? Um, and if you're not interested in watching it, then you don't have to, you know? Just in case you don't know what Nordstrom uh, Trunk Club is, I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Uh, this is something I buy with my own money. Nordstrom Trunk Club is a styling service, much like other styling services, Stitch Fix, DN Co., things like that on the market. What I love about Nordstrom is that you have a lot of involvement in what comes in your box. You get a preview of what's coming in the box and you can be super specific with them of like, I'm looking for XYZ kinds of things, things for this kind of occasion, for work, for play, the weekend, athletic, all that kind of stuff. And it's all of the brands that are sold at Nordstrom, which is a ton of brands. And they have a ton of plus size options, which is awesome. Now, what's really cool, once you get your first preview, if there are things you don't love, you can tell them not to send that and tell them to go ahead and fill the box, um, you know, fill that item with something else that they think. Um, you don't get to keep previewing it, but you do get that initial preview. So be cutthroat, tell them why you don't like something Thing, say yes I would love that in a different size or if this comes in a different color if you use the link down in the description box you get $50 off of your first uh, purchase so if you like the service you found some items in your box you want to keep you get 50 bucks off um, and then that gives me 50 bucks that is not um, a sponsored not an affiliate anything like that anybody so once you start the service if you love it you can give your code to your loved ones and then you can earn some credit as well so check the description box to uh, make sure you get that 50 bucks off your first one okay so let's stop babbling and get into the box so first up is a pair of corduroy pants which i don't think i would have ever picked out for myself I'm like this taupish gray Per taupe is the perfect way because taupe is like a purpley gray. That's that's what I would call this. These are by the brand NYDJ, so not your daughter's jeans. Um, we have gotten this brand before. These are in a size 22, um, which they do have some stretch. I'm wondering if a 22 in a corduroy will fit me. Um, it looks like these are a wider leg. I did tell my stylist I wanna keep trying um, some wide leg options, especially in the fall and winter. Corduroy is really fun. So I'm excited to try these babies on. Okay, so here are the corduroy jeans by Not Your Daughter's Jeans NYDJ. They fit beautifully. I was worried about not having enough stretch, but um, I am a size 22. These are a size 22 and they fit perfectly. Like I said, I'm so sorry about the lighting, but it is what it is. This is what we got to work with. Um, I think they fit really nicely on the butt. Like I said, they are a um, wider leg, but I don't think that these are too long, especially if I were to wear them with some boots. I think that it hits at a perfect length. As you can tell, it hits at a perfect high waist. It actually has like two little buttons here. That makes me a little worried like if I were to go to sit down if they'll pop, but they're not too tight where I think that they'll do that. Typical um, zip closure, the pockets, nice full-size pockets. It has a belt loop. Like I said, I think they look great on the butt. Look very, very nice. This color, I know for a fact I don't have anything in my wardrobe this color. Okay, so next up is a leather jacket. I have a feeling that this is faux leather. Yeah, I think it's faux leather. It is by the brand Blank NYC. It's a little hard to see because it's black on black. I tell my um, stylist that I love leather jackets. I literally could get a new leather jacket every month and be totally into it. I feel like it's something I collect in my collection. I love having a ton of options. And this one is not like anything that I have. So this jacket is really, really cool because it has a lot of um, zipper detail and it looks like the front zipper is functional 
It looks like it even has some really, what? Hold on a second. Hold on, in real life, I need to try to figure out how this works. I think I'm gonna try to figure it out once I have it on my body. Oh, look at that. It is a really beautiful tapered, and it almost because of the way that these zippers are angled, it really brings in the waist. Yeah, so that's really cute. Drawback for me, it doesn't have pockets on the side, but I like the shape of it so much. I think it looks really cool. What's confusing to me are these bad boys. I don't know what the purpose is, because I don't think, what I don't get is they, okay, so like cool, this is almost like a cropped, like a super cropped cool, like alternative, like funky leather jacket, but these don't zip off. Like the zipper doesn't keep going. So I have like a tail. I don't understand that. I think that if they weren't gonna be like actually all the way zip offable, why they didn't just make these non-functioning zippers. It has this here, is this a real pocket? Nope, not a real pocket. Same thing over here not a real pocket. I don't know what this is for. At first I thought like, does that go in there? But then no, because the zipper is along here. There are so many confusing things about this jacket. I don't, yeah, I'm not sure about this bad boy. There are so many things I really like. I love this texture. I love all the zippers. I love the shoulder. I love the cropped length. I like the angle of this, but I'm not in love with what's going on up here. I don't typically zip my leather jackets anyway, but I think if we leave it unzipped, then we lose some of that cool shape that it gives. So this is, this is cool, but I don't think this is for me. I told my stylist that I love big oversized, like chunky sweaters, and this looks perfect. So it is a mock neck. If you know anything about me, I love turtlenecks. I love high neck. I love mock neck. They're, I just love them. A lot of people that tend to, that have like heavier set faces like me and double chins tend to not love them. I love them. I think that they look really chic. This is a really cozy, like chunky knit, which is perfect. So this is, even though it's a chunky knit, it seems pretty lightweight, which would be perfect for wearing in San Diego because it never gets super cold, but at night you definitely want something. It looks like it has a drop sleeve with like a ballooning. I love, that's so cool. It's in this really pretty like cranberry color. It's showing up on camera a little more red and it's definitely a little bit deeper in person. Um, but the brand on this one is, oh, BP. We've gotten things from BP before and they tend to be a little bit more trendy, uh, young pieces. This is perfect. And it looks like it's a little cropped. So this with all of my high-waisted bottoms that I have. Ah, oh, adorable. Lovely, basic, but really cute piece. Here is that cropped sweater. I love it. This is something that I would wear all the time. And this is something that if I had it in every color, I'd wear it in every color. It is that cropped kind of chunky knit balloon sleeve sweater. They sent it in a 2X, it's perfect. So especially with all of the high-waisted bottoms that I own, I love cropped lengths. I just like that on me. I think it hits me at like a really flattering point. This is really slouchy, comfy. I love the color. I always hear that red looks nice on me and I hardly wear any of it, so I really should get into wearing more of it but it's not too long on the sleeves. I love this detailing on the side. This, this is really cute. Depending on the price point of this, this is a huge contender. I really, I think this is adorable. Okay, so I am extra jazzed. I told my stylist I would love like vintage inspired graphic tees, meaning like band tees, Americana, things like that, that tend to look really cool with leather jackets, some distressed denim, things like that. And this is perfect. This is so cool. This looks like it would be straight out of like Urban Outfitters or something like that. And a lot of the times, cool things like this that aren't really hokey or like licensed tees like Disney, you know, um, superhero stuff, things like that, don't come in plus. So this is the brand 
Chaser. <gasps> I've heard of Chaser. Chaser does a lot of these really cool tees and this is like that, per it feels vintage. It feels like it's like your dad's band tee that got washed a million times that he's had since the 70s. Almost like a burnout tee, but not quite. This is, this is perfect. This is, I know I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this like no matter what. This is gonna look so freaking cool with like a mini leather skirt and this tucked in with a cool leather or denim jacket and like some grungy makeup. Are you kidding me? This is so cool. Yes, I love this. I love this. Let's try it on. Let's talk about the t-shirt. This is in a 2X and it is a very, very stretchy 2X. Usually I'm a 2X or 3X on top. I was afraid that, oh man, it's a 2X, it may not fit, it fits perfectly. Has a little bit shorter sleeve and this graphic, like this reminds me of like Harley Davidson tees, things like that. I love vintage inspired graphic tees and they nailed it. I'm, I've am i heard of this brand. I did not even know that they did plus sizes. This is so exciting for me. I love this. This is something that you would see at Urban Outfitters in straight size all day. I love it. This like tucked into like a really cool like leather bottom or really cool like distressed denim is absolutely my style. So yeah, I'll be keeping this. I love it. Okay, we got our first thing that I'm really nervous about. It's actually a pair of Levi's, which I'm all for, but Levi's have not really ever worked for me very well because of the type of denim that Levi is made out of. There's not a lot of stretch, if any, um, which is cool, which makes them like super durable. You know, it's really true uh, testament to like the original Levi's that are several hundred years old at this point. Um, but with that, um, in plus sizes, a lot of times our bodies like and need the stretch. So these are in a 24, which is awesome because with there being less stretch, I would love to go up a size. My stylist is amazing. Um, but these look like they are kind of cropped, which is rad and kind of wide leg. So it's like this washed black, which is really cool. It's not a faded black. It's just, I would call this a washed black. These are the original 501 cropped. Oh, I hope these work. These with that like graphic tee plugged in, or plugged in, Natalie, graphic tee uh, tucked in. How cool. Oh, please work. Okay, I'm gonna try these on. And if these don't fit, I'm gonna ask my stylist if maybe there's a, like a 26. Um, oh, they just smell like premium denim. Oh, they, oh, and they're thick. These are like, these are denim that will only get better with time. Like they are substantial. I hope they fit. Here is the Levi's denim and they fit. So I'm so glad that they sent these in a 24 instead of a 22. I don't think the 22s would have fit. I think there's extremely little if no stretch in these. I did cuff them just a little bit even though they are a cropped denim. Uh, they still hit me like at the ankle, which is great. So that makes me really glad that they sent a crop so that it is more my length. Um, I'm five foot six, if you did not know. Oh, how would you know that? I'm five foot six. Um, but I like them with a cuff anyway. I think like it will better show my shoes and things like that. These remind me of like the classic cool girl, slouchy, like boyfriend denim. And I think that it's really hard to make that look cool in plus size because it has to be cut really well. And I think these totally are. These look rad and they even look cool with the tee I'm wearing. One drawback, these are a button fly. Now this little dude down here is not buttoned. With my nails, it's very hard for me to do these kind of buttons, but I'm getting my nails taken off tomorrow. So I have a feeling this won't be as big of a deal. And especially as you wear in your denim, this really premium, classic, like non-stretch denim will literally break in kind of like a leather jacket does. Like beautiful denim does that and it lasts you like a lifetime. That's why people have, that's why there are so many pairs of vintage Levi's out there because they are built to last. So this little dude, I won't have an issue uh, buttoning once 
I don't have nails anymore. But yeah, so this is a really cool touch. I almost wish this was exposed, but it does make it look a little more clean. Don't look at this dude. A little more clean with it not being exposed. If you are like a throw on a pair of jeans and go kind of person, you probably don't want a button fly, but I totally don't mind it. They give you, ooh, that Levi's butt. Even though these are a wider leg, they still fit the butt so nicely. Like, maybe it's just me having the um, Levi's decal on my butt makes me so happy because I grew up never being able to wear Levi's because they never came in my size. I really like these. These are total like cool girl jeans. Like, I love these. Alrighty, next up, I had told my stylist that I would love um, to participate in like the it's like the tennis skirt trend that's going on right now. It's basically like schoolgirl skirts. You know, that kind of sounds icky, but you know what I mean, like plaid skirts, plaid pleated. She said that right now they couldn't find anything, but I remember this dress because I said, yeah, go ahead and send that. This is by City Chic, which we know I love. I got and kept a couple City Chic dresses from last box, and it is basically a plaid, like, pinafore dress so this has nice wide straps so you can wear a traditional bra it looks like it has kind of like side belts on the waist so it will really define some shape it looks like it might be more of like a mini length like will hit above the knee and it's in this really beautiful like classic blue white and red plaid so if i couldn't have a plaid skirt this would be really cute and i even wonder if like this layered with the um cropped sweater might look really cool we'll have to try that on whenever i go to try this on this is super cute here is that little city chic dress i was totally right it is a mini cut which i think is so cute now this is in kind of like a fit and flare and these on the side they are totally functional so if you need a little more room in the waist a little less you can adjust them and it will help kind of fit it directly to your shape I love the length. I love mini dresses. I like the like nod to like schoolgirl skirt in the plaid. And I do think that I could put a sweater over this or under this and it would look like I'm wearing like a tennis skirt. So this is really cute. Let me show you the top a little bit closer. Please ignore the strappies. That is my bra underneath, but any typical like normal bra would not show under here. So it has like a square neck. Like I said, a very nice wide strap. Doesn't show my bra underneath is perfectly like fit. This was in a size 22. Um, City Chic tends to be like on par with me being a size 22 in most of their pieces. I love this, like, how cute is this? Oh, oh, I wanted to try something on, hold on. Yes, okay, this is adorable. So this was that burgundy crop sweater from our box. Like, look at this. It looks like I'm wearing a little skirt, but it's actually just right on over the dress. How cute! I love this. And because it's cropped, it doesn't overpower the skirt. You could, if you wanted, like knot this or knot it to the side. But honestly, I kind of love this like relaxed look. This, this screams like fall and winter to me. But because this is a like a tank dress you can wear it during the summer too i also wanted to show this as a cute styling option so putting the sweater below the dress for any of like your sleeveless dresses that you wear during the summer a way that you can transition them into the fall and into the winter is to layer them with sweaters and as you saw it looked really cute with the sweater over it but i think it's adorable with it under it too like how stinking cute and it offers you some warmth up here warmth on your arms but especially because this was a cropped sweater it doesn't add any bulk to the bottom like this is so cute sorry y'all the light is moving quickly um and i tried to block out some of this but you might i might end up having a light fragment whisker so i apologize we got another tee from chaser which fantastic and it is Oh my God, it's an ACDC. Y'all, this is what I mean by burnout. So burnout tees are like, whenever you think of that super thin and worn like buttery material where it almost tends to be, I don't know if you can tell, it's see-through, 
I love that. It makes it feel like a vintage tea without it being a vintage tea, you know, especially because vintage teas in plus sizes, like women's plus sizes don't really exist. Um, you tend to have to go with men's sizes and then it's cut. It's not cut well for um, a woman's body. Um, so I'm really glad that Chaser does uh, plus sizes now. So these are both in a 2X and it looks like it's, it's probably gonna be fitted to me just like the other tee is, but I plan on wearing these tucked in. So that's perfect. But yeah, the super cool ACDC design. If I love these, I may keep telling her to like keep sending me Chaser tees. Um, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, and they're like stretchy and soft and oh, I love these. I love these, I love these. Here was the other tee from Chaser. Same thing, so soft, so stretchy. This is also in a 2X. This looks so, this is like I said, this is exactly something that you would either get at a vintage shop or like sold at Urban Outfitters. I love it. This is exactly what I was looking for when I asked them for like vintage inspired tees. And these are so comfy. Next up we have, at first I thought it was like a multi-row necklace with a bunch of different layers, but it's actually a necklace set from Madewell. So Madewell, if you did not know, not only do they do clothing and accessory, or clothing and shoes, but they do really cute jewelry. I tend to find them to be um, higher quality than obviously like a Target or something like that, but lower than like, the atomic gold that I shop all the time that does like this ring or um, just like higher end jewelry companies. It's not real gold, but it is like nicer quality gold plated stuff. And this is such a cute, it looks like it comes with, it's three necklaces. So it looks like this is probably choker length and it has some little detailing of the gold balls throughout the, um, the front part of it. And then we have this shorter dude here. It looks like it's longer than choker length, but would probably hit on the chest bone with a beautiful little, just like gold disc. And it has a, I think that you would call this like a, almost like a twisted box chain. And then here you have a longer one. I basically, they all have a different chain. So they are all gold, uh, but they all just have a little bit different look. These are exactly what I'm into. Okay, and last up we have two pairs of shoes. The first one is Michael Kors, which sends my little, like, oh, I wonder how expensive these are. And y'all, I've said this in other videos too, Nordstrom is not a budget retailer. Nordstrom is a luxury retailer. These things are gonna be more on the price range with like an anthropology, things like that, where they're not luxury price points, but they are higher. So please do know that, but these are great like quality brands. And um, I really just, I love shopping these brands. These are really funky. I don't know how I feel about them, but I don't hate them. Hold on. These are kind of badass. So they are in real life. On screen, they're coming off a little more white. In person, they are more of a cream. So it is, okay, cool. So it has the zipper where you'll step into the boot. They are a platform. These are rubberized. I find that rubberized heels and platforms are more comfortable because they kind of absorb some shock rather than like a wood heel or like a hard plastic heel. These are funky. I'm not sure if I'm immediately in love, but I will never discount anything until I try it on. For the sake of time, I'm just going to put on one. These are the Michael Kors boots. I'm not in love with them, even though they do have the adjustable um, laces so that you can make this a little wider in order to accommodate a wider calf. See how it's like loose down at the ankle? It like... It like is puffy down here. I don't, I don't love that. They feel good though. They feel nice and quality, but I don't, I don't love this. And my stylist, she listened. So I asked uh, for some Doc Martens. These are so cool. They are like faux croc or like faux alligator patent leather doc martens so they have the traditional heel so this is like the this is not a platform this is like typically what it is and it looks like it has black laces up the front the classic yellow stitching that doc martin is known for 
Um, yeah, so you don't you don't uh, step into these with a zipper. You go through the top. Um, I'm in love with these. I hope these look cool on me. Um, I always want to be a Doc Martin wear, uh, but I never know if I can pull them off. But oh, they even smell like high quality shoes. Doc Martens are making such a resurgence. They never went away, but they are super popular right now. So I definitely wanted to participate in the trend, but to know that it is an investment shoe. So typically Doc Martens are anywhere from like $100 to $200, but literally Doc Martens will last you a lifetime if you take care of them. They are made, they're uh, like a leather boot. So I am stoked to try these on. Okay, so here are the Docs. I love them, but they're too big. I can tell that these are at least a half size, if not a whole size, too big. My toe only comes to like right here, but the style is rad. I like this like patent leather. I love the interest of the faux croc. I love like textures like that. Oh, it is a total lace up boot. It was easy to get on, didn't take very long at all. If these were in the right size, I would be able to better tell how much I love them. Visually, I love them. I would love to try them on in my actual size. Like I told y'all last time, make sure that you're checking the Nordstrom Trunk Club app. You need the app really anyway to be able to check out, but I noticed that sometimes it's cheaper, like the actual price is cheaper on the app, which you would get whenever you went to check out anyway, than things are um, on the paper. Like I said, inside the box comes the return label. It even has a little bit of tape for you to adhere the box shut. Okay, so let's go real quick because I don't want this video to be 900 um, years long. Okay, so the 1460 faux croc embossed boot, which was the Doc Martin, was $149.95. And same on here, it did send in a, a size nine. No wonder it's too big. I'm typically a size eight. And so, um, yeah, my stylist said, love the croc embossing, super cool. I totally agree. I just need them in a size eight. Those are 149, so I'm gonna go ahead and send those back. I did not try on the, the Madewell necklace. Um, on camera just to save a little bit of time. They're very cute. I'm going to keep them. Those are $28.80 for, for three necklaces, which is awesome. They're normally $48, bucks, so they're 40% off right now. I like that. That's like, what, $9 a necklace? That's Target prices, and I know that the quality is better than Target jewelry, so I'm absolutely keeping those. Um, the Annika booty, which was the Michael Kors, those were $168. Uh, 75 uh, down from 225 y'all saw those didn't work out for me because of like the extra material at the ankle the um, Maryland straight leg corduroy pants the NYDJ those first things I tried on those are 7140 um, down from 119 NYDJ is a premium brand so the 7140 doesn't uh, throw me off at all I'll have to take a look at the footage see how much I love them <gasps> This makes me so happy. Okay, so the um, 501 high waist crop straight leg jeans from Levi's. Um, the original price on those is 98, very normal for Levi's. They're actually reduced to $65. I'm totally keeping them. The reason why I kept saying that like they remind me of cool girl jeans is because they remind me of something that you'd see in straight size all the time. And I hate to equate like straight size with being like the definition of cool girl. I only say that because it hasn't been until the last couple years that there's really been the, the breadth of uh, plus size fashion options that we have now. We have so far to go, it's wild. But we're getting somewhere. And those remind me of something you would see in Urban Outfitters or a cut you would see at American Apparel. All of these like cool brands that we didn't have access to. So to have that in plus, to have them fit well, to have a good, like really good quality, another good quality denim company like Good American. I love Good American jeans. To have another brand that I know I can wear and are gonna last and for on 65 bucks, yeah, Tora jeans are more expensive. So yes, keeping those. The um, This sweater by BP, the um, cable balloon sleeve raglan sweater is 45. I feel like that's really on par with something at Torrid, especially if you're buying something like not on super sale. 
I liked how this looked with like multiple things in my box. I loved it both ways. I wore it with this dress. It'll look really cute with those um, uh, Levi's and I think that this will look really good with so much in my closet. And surprisingly enough, I don't have a sweater like this. And it's really comfy. It's actually kind of warm in my house right now and I'm not dying of sweat. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Chaser is a higher end tea brand. So they do, like I said, I would very much see them being in boutiques. I would see them being at Urban Outfitters, blah, blah, blah. So each tee, the ACDC and the High Roller Graphic Tee are $59. I know that's gonna make some of y'all like gasp, but for me and knowing what I do about vintage availability, vintage, a little bit that I know about vintage pricing, um, I'm totally gonna keep them. I love them. I will wear the shit out of those um, t-shirts, period. And they will look good with so much that I have. Those are also, those are a very cool girl item to me. Oh my gosh, the, the Levi's with that cream color high roller with my platform docks and like one of my cropped leather jackets. Stop. I, that's Natalie. I love that. Or even the... Um, uh, the Dolce Vita boots that I got in the last box. I've been wearing the hell out of them, by the way. Love them. So happy to have them. Those will look so good with those jeans, too. Oh, yeah. Keeping both of those tees for sure. And then the faux leather moto jacket is $98. Not keeping that. Y'all saw. It just didn't make sense. Maybe on somebody else, they could, like, it would look nicer. But truly on me, I was confused uh as to how it worked sorry i had to change the battery which means it's telling me i'm talking way too much we're almost done so the leather jacket's a no-go it just didn't fit right on me but we are still searching for a cool red leather jacket for me and last up was the mini dress this tartan mini dress this is 89 dollars and um, I think that's pretty on par. Like I've said before, those are really on par with like Eloquii prices and City Chic is wonderful quality. Um, I love this. I love that even in the box, I had two different ways I can wear this, uh, or three different ways. One without anything underneath it, and then two different ways with just this one sweater. And I know I have a ton of different um, t-shirts or turtlenecks other mock neck sweaters that i can do really cool things with this dress and i love that it has a nod to like the plaid uh, schoolgirl skirt thing because people have used the code down below to get 50 dollars off of their purchase like i said that gives me 50 dollars and so even though this is going to cost a couple hundred bucks with keeping the pieces that I love, I have credit. And so I'm going to give that to myself as a treat. I'm going to buy the, the Levi's, the definitely the Levi's, the two cool t-shirts, both of these pieces and the, um, necklaces okay so thank you so much for watching these videos tend to be longer because we do get a bunch of pieces in the box as well as i try everything on and i i like to give you all a lot of detail buying i'm sorry the lighting's crazy buying online is stressful enough not knowing like the detail of things and if i'm gonna make a video i'm gonna make it like try to make it worth your while i appreciate y'all as always watching and um don't forget that down below you get 50 bucks off your first purchase with um nordstrom trunk club not sponsored. I buy all of this myself unless I'm using credit that I get from y'all. And then if y'all give your code to your friends and family, you get 50 bucks credit too. So it's not just because I do YouTube or social media or anything. Anybody can get that. I love so many of the pieces. They are so well thought out by my stylist. I am so specific with them. So the more specific you are about what you like and what you don't like, the happier you're gonna be whenever you get the trunk. So I don't want y'all to think I'm like fluffing y'all when I get these trunks and how stoked I get. I genuinely love everything because I'm so specific about what I like. So what's coming to me is already pretty curated for me by my stylist. So, oh my gosh, if you hear snoring, that's a pug. And I think that means it's time to go. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know what your favorite pieces were down below and what you would keep from the box. As so many of y'all have said that you've tried Trunk Club and that you love it. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Hold on. Lola. 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 
You're snoring and everybody can hear you. <laughs> I love you so much. Say bye.